she's gonna try to eat him. Oh my god, oh my god. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you guys will remember, but back in February, I paired my Grandma Stola Polka Peas female Pikachu with my mature male. And you guys still ask me if Pikachu has laid an egg sac yet, which the answer is no. Now Grandma Stola Polka Peas can take a really long time to actually lay their egg sac. So it didn't necessarily mean that she wasn't gravid. It just meant that she was taking her time if she was. I ended up giving my mature male to the local pet store to give him a shot to breed with their female because they had a female too and that pairing was successful he made it through just fine and I ended up actually taking him back to try pairing them yet again so let me go ahead and insert that footage of me attempting their second pairing Ha, round two. Uh-uh, I don't like that. I do not like that. All right, buddy. You got in, now get out. Dude, I really think you should stop. Oh, oh, her teeth. Okay. Very well done. Back it up. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. Do not go up to her. Yes. Gosh. Into your enclosure. Very good job. Thank you. So yeah, great news. They actually paired again. It went really well. And I'm really hoping that if she wasn't gravid before, that would do it because that was a pretty great pairing. She was really receptive and they went for it right away. So hopefully that works out. Of course, as always, if anything happens, I will update you guys right away. So I actually have more news. My Toledo cattle vegans actually just matured and I also have a mature female. And we're gonna try to pair them right now. I haven't done it yet, but I'm really nervous about this and I'm afraid that she is going to try to eat him because she is super crazy. I don't know if you guys remember, but she's just like had a string of crazy stunts on my channel. <gasps> just like the craziest one of the craziest tarantulas that I actually keep she's the one that I got tattooed on me she's like a very special tarantula but a very crazy one and I just feel like she's gonna try to eat him like I really honestly feel like that's going to happen so I'm really nervous because I obviously don't want her to eat him I'm gonna do my best to prevent it from happening but of course this is like a natural thing that just happens sometimes and while I don't want it to happen um if it happens then I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be completely transparent about it. And if he survives, then I will probably pass him along to somebody else who could use him. Let's try this. I'm really nervous. It's kind of, it's starting to get dark outside. It's like the evening. It's kind of that time of day where I feel like if a tarantula was gonna, you know, like, <laughs> this would be around the time that they'd start looking for each other. So I'm hoping that this works out and uh, I guess I'll stop talking and we can find out. Good luck, comrade. I have this to separate them if she tries to grab. And I also have water because I've found that if you're breeding something that's like really a little defensive, um, sometimes if you see them about to grab them, you can just give them a little squirt, you know? So that's what, it's kind of like a cat, you know? If they do something bad, you can just kind of 
spray them with water. So first I'm going to try to get him into this cup and then I'm going to put him in her enclosure. Okay, yeah. No, oh shh. And that's also really not good. Okay, great. Okay, so he actually complied a lot better than I thought he would. So maybe my method of putting the cup on top of them is not always going to work. Good vibes, good vibes. All right, let's do this. Yeah, there she is. Check her out. I have had her since she was like literally three inches, I think. I got her from Petco and that location ended up like selling her and then never getting more tarantulas ever again. And then they closed down. So, hey. But yeah, I named her Houdini because she kept escaping at the pet store. So like she already has a troubled history. So I guess let's uh, boogie. It really seems like he has calmed down since he matured. He used to be a lot more crazy. Oh, shh. Please, guys, do not kick hair. I really don't, I don't want it. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. What is going to happen? Oh, my God. What is going to happen? Oh, he's going right into it. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. He's tapping already. Okay, that's actually a good sign. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what? Is this actually going to work out? Is this happening? It oh my god. Is this really happening so fast? Oh her fangs are out. I'm so stressed for him. Those fangs are huge. Do you see them? Oh my god. Yes. This is too easy. Like I feel like it's gonna end very tragically just because it's so it's working out so well. Check that out. You just take your time. God, what, what is happening? Oh my God, oh my God, what are you doing, dude? Don't let her fall over. He's really, um, yeah. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay, Eric, I'm gonna try to get her down. Okay, okay, very good. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, we don't want him to run anywhere. Your job is to just keep your eyes on him for just a second. I'm going to put this on. This is gonna probably scare him. Just don't let him go under the TV. <laughs> That's, that's the goal, okay. Cause he's just spooked. He doesn't want to get eaten. Mm. Okay, so we are just going to try to get him to come down. Yeah, no, 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 no. You don't want to find a crevice to get in. Just want you to get down. I know, I know you're panicking. You did so good though. Perfect. All right, where is she? All right, she's Gucci. I know what I'm doing, clearly. Okay. And you. No, 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 no. There you go, there you go. Woo! High five. Thank you for helping. I'm glad you were, uh, you were present. Look, I didn't even, I didn't even get to light the candles. I was gonna light the candles for the mood. But you did it! Oh my God, he survived. <laughs> He survived. Did you see how fast that went down? Did she try to grab him? Cause I think, I think um, she did. I, I don't know if I caught that part on camera, but it seemed like she almost grabbed him and he like made it out just in time. He did, you know, do the deed. So she could uh, definitely get gravid from that. He's like still drumming. He's, he's still, uh, he wanted to keep going essentially. I was like, all right, next. <laughs> he would have kept going if he could have. Okay, no, 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 no. You're done for the night, buddy. Yeah. Take a shower. Yeah. 
So I guess I'm gonna leave these two uh, lovebirds to relax after that, but I will let you guys know if anything comes of her and uh, if we have an egg sack, hopefully. And if we don't and uh, I still have him, we'll go ahead and try pairing him again. That was an adventure. <laughs> Wish them luck. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. You want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's afterangela.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And yeah, okay. That's the video.